Okay, so you've closed on your property. Congratulations. So what's going to happen now? Well, the lending side is kind of done, but that doesn't mean that there's not information that you need to know about. So once the loan funds and it records and it's now your property, well, usually within about 20 days, you're going to get information from the lender stating where to make your payment to. And you're also going to get uh, information from all kinds of different uh, third party people. And I just wanted to let you know what's going to happen. So you may get documentation in the mail from third party companies that are marketing companies that are just trying to get you to pay them a little bit of money to do certain things, right? They may say, oh, we'll get you your recorded documents. You can get your recorded documents anytime you want. Uh, you're going to get the, the signed doc package back, which has all that information in there. And so you don't have to pay these companies is the bottom line. Um, so you just watch out for things like that. If it's a marketing company, talk to your loan officer, but realistically, you probably don't need to do anything on those. The payment details is what matters. So a lot of times with loans, it, it could be a time where you funded a loan with our company and between the time that we funded the loan and your first payment is due, we already sold that loan. Most loans are sold right away. When they fund, almost all loans are sold because typically speaking, as we talked about earlier, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, or Ginnie Mae are the ones buying the loan. So the lender is funding it, but they are just basically funding the loan and then Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac or Ginnie Mae are buying the loan from them. And so once that happens, there may be a different servicer on the loan. So servicing is different than actually owning the loan. The owning the loan, a lot of times it is Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, or Jenny Mae, but the servicing could be done by different companies throughout the life of the loan. So you don't really know, but you'll get documentation on that from the lender saying, hey, your loan is being serviced by this company or your payment needs to go to this company from now on. So just look out for those things. Beyond that, if you had your loan impounded, property taxes, there should be uh, enough for the lender to make those payments when they're due. If you didn't do that, if you're in a state that there's property tax, you're gonna have to make sure that you make those property tax payments. Make sure that you're making your property taxes on time because there's hefty fees with those things for late fees. Make sure that, hey, if there's fire insurance that's due, make sure that you're keeping up on that. It's typically going to be 12 months after you fund it on your loan or after you close on your loan. But um, look out for those things in the mail as well. Beyond that, you're going to probably get additional marketing things from all kinds of companies because when homeowners uh, become homeowners, there's a lot of marketing companies out there that want to talk to you because they want to sell you some service. So. Most of them are not going to be from the lender, they're not going to be from anybody to do with your loan, but just watch out for what's coming to you in the mail because a lot of it can be kind of more spamish kind of stuff. So beyond that, congratulations and you know, don't be a stranger, talk to your loan officer and if you're going to make a purchase in the future, make sure you reach out to that loan officer again if they did a good job for you. And um, beyond that, congratulations and happy home ownership. Bye-bye.